today's video we're going to learn about the futures clearinghouse. If you're new to derivatives, take a look at my other videos that explain what derivatives are, what futures are, how are futures priced, and so on. There's, there's lots of them. Um, I'm creating these videos from my book that's called Trading and Pricing Financial Derivatives, and it's available for sale on Amazon.com or on Amazon.co.uk. If you are really interested in this topic, it might be worth checking that out. There's an Amazon link in the description below. Okay, so let's learn a bit about the futures clearinghouse. To minimize counterparty risk to traders, trades executed on a regulated futures exchange are guaranteed by a clearinghouse. The clearinghouse is a separate entity from the traders who are buying and selling futures, and it's also separate from the brokerages or market makers. The clearinghouse is there solely to enhance traders' assurance against failure to pay on behalf of losing counterparties. Clearinghouses become the counterparty to each seller and buyer in the instruments that they clear. A clearinghouse stands between two member firms and its purpose is to reduce the risk of any clearing firm failing to honour its trade settlement obligations. A clearinghouse is responsible for settling trading accounts, clearing trades, collecting and maintaining margin monies, regulating delivery and reporting trading data. Clearinghouses act as third parties to all futures and options contracts, acting as a buyer to every seller and a seller to every buyer. Fewer transactions would take place if sellers were worried that buyers would refuse to pay them at trade settlement and vice versa. A clearinghouse ensures that transactions happen as planned. A clearinghouse reduces the settlement risks by one, netting offsetting transactions between multiple counterparties, two, requiring collateral margin deposits, three, providing independent valuation of trades and collateral, and four, monitoring the creditworthiness of the firms which clear through them. The clearinghouse also provides a guarantee fund that can be used to cover losses that exceed a defaulting member firm's collateral on deposit. A clearing fee is a charge that's assessed by a clearinghouse for completing transactions using its own facilities. Transaction costs in trading futures usually include both a brokerage fee and a clearing fee. They sometimes include a delivery fee as well, since the actual delivery of the underlying asset in a futures contract is rare, that's not always there. Clearing fees can vary as it's based on the type and size of the transaction. An FCM, or futures clearing merchant, is a brokerage firm that is a member of an exchange who acts as an intermediary between an investor and a futures exchange and a clearinghouse. They help to ensure that the trade is settled appropriately and the transaction is successful. The futures clearing merchant is responsible for holding customer funds of the margin account, clearing the futures trade and performing all back office recording functions such as marking to market a customer's futures account, sending trade confirmations and account summaries and year-end tax forms. Check out my other videos on financial derivatives to learn more. Feel free to comment below if there's a topic that you'd like to hear me cover. If you enjoyed this video hit the like button, tell your friends about it, and if you hated the video click the like button too and try to be more positive. Make sure you subscribe if you'd like to catch more of my videos um, as they come out. Have a great day. Bye.